Hare Krishna, everyone. Dhanavat Pranams. Um, as you know, here at the Hare Krishna Project, we are celebrating and marking the 150th anniversary of the birth or uh, appearance of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur all year, all year round. Not just several weeks ago on the actual day uh, of his Vyasa Puja. We're marking and celebrating that incredibly auspicious occasion all year round. We recognize very strongly the quite unique role or the very unique role that Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada played in the history of Gaudiya Vaishnavism and the impact that he has made in the world in, ter in terms of the message of Krishna consciousness being spread all around the globe. Most people will not know that this week is a very special week uh, in the history uh, of Gaudiya Vaishnavism in the UK. This week marks the 90th anniversary of the foundation or the creation or the constitution of the brand new London Gaudiya Society. Uh, the London Gaudiya Society was established in London in April 1934. Um, it was a branch of the Gaudiya Mat from, from India. Uh, and it was set up by four disciples of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur um, um, that were already in the UK. So just to recap who those four disciples were. So in April 1933, so... Uh, 12 months before that, um, three disciples of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur um, arrived in the UK. They were Bhakti Pradeep Tirtha Maharaj, uh, Ridaya Bon Maharaj, and Sabidand Sabidandana uh, Das, or Sabidandana Prabhu. And they came to the UK uh, as part of this new missionary project to spread Krishna consciousness with Western people. And then in January 1934, so just three months before the foundation of the London Gaudiya Society, a fourth disciple of Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada arrived, um, Ras Bihari Bhakti Jyoti. He was a brahmachari who came to London um, for two years. Um, he left in 1936. He came to help with the kind of London mission, with the British mission. Um, um, Many of you who will have read my book know I've dedicated an entire chapter to this, the history of Gaudiya Vaishnavism in the UK, uh, where you can find all the details of those original devotees that came to London, the foundation of the London Gaudiya Society. Uh, you will read that uh, of who the first president and vice president were. So many of you would have heard that the first vice president was Lord Ronald Shea, uh, also known as the Earl of Zetland. Uh, he was also the governor of Bengal, I think from 1917 to 19. 22. He was the first president of the society, so a, a Westerner, a white guy, the first president of the, of the first um, Gaudiya Vaishnav group constituted outside of London. Uh, and the vice president was Lord Lamington, another member of the House of Lords. So 90 years ago this week was the foundation of the creation of the London Gaudiya Society. Um, you know, every now and then I love to plug my book, uh, but everything is in here. The Harry Christians in Britain. You will find all the details about those devotees, those actual five disciples of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur who came to Britain. Um, in the 1930s. The fifth was uh, Bhakti Saranga Goswami, who didn't come until, didn't arrive until October 1936 and stayed um, for 12 months. Um, so um, this is a very special week, the foundation of the London Gaudiya Society, April 1934. Um, and do not forget, if you haven't already, please do visit, visit um, the the uh, the Gaudiya Mat Temple, uh, it, no, sorry, the Gaudiya Mission UK in Wilsdon Green. They are like the original Harry Krishnas. They're the the real deal, so to speak. They arrived in the UK 35 years before ISKCON. Um, so if you haven't visited already, please visit. I can pass on contact details. So this week. A very special week in the history of Gaudiya Vaishnavism in the UK. It's the 90th anniversary since the creation or the constitution of the birth of the London Gaudiya Society in April 1934. Hare Krishna!